Welcome to MBlock for Blue Brain Quick Start Guide. Let's start by launching the MBlock software on your computer or tablet. Welcome to the MBlock user interface. To change the interface into the Blue Brain Bot compatible platform, you need to select the following settings. Under the edit menu, select Arduino mode. This changes the look of the screen. The panda is gone and the new window has opened on the right side, displaying the Arduino code. The middle section is the important one. Here's where we assemble the code for our robot. Next, you need to make sure Arduino Uno is checked under the board's menu. Then make sure Blue Brain Bot is checked under the extensions menu. You can deselect the Arduino extension to reduce the clutter in your script block list. Next, we'll explore loading a project. To load a project, select Load Project from the File menu. Open the Blue Brain Default Programs folder, usually on your desktop or wherever you have saved it to. Your default folder includes a number of useful programs. The first program you should try is a remote control script. Simply select and click on Open. This is what the program script looks like. This remote control script programs the robot to respond to the IR remote as follows. The plus button makes the motors go forward. The minus button makes the motors go backward. The previous button makes the robot turn left. The next button makes the robot go right. The return button makes the robot go fast forward. And the power button stops the motors. Next, we'll explore uploading the script to the robot. Step one, connect the robot to the computer using the USB cable provided with your kit. Part 2. Connect the software to the correct USB port. From the Connect menu, click on Serial Port and select the available COM port, usually the last one on the list. Now it should say Serial Port Connected on the top frame of the M-Block window. We are now ready to upload the file to the robot by clicking on Upload to Arduino. If there is a Windows firewall message, simply click on Allow Access. The pop-up window in the middle will let you know when the upload is finished. The bottom right displays the data being processed. After about 20 seconds or so, the upload is complete. The pop-up window will confirm that the upload was successful. You can now disconnect the robot from the USB cable by gently unplugging the cable from the Arduino board. The remote now should control your robot. The plus button should make the robot go forward. The minus button should make the robot go backwards. The previous button should make the robot turn left. The next button should make the robot turn right. The return button should make the robot go fast forward. And finally, the power button should make the robot stop its motors. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Blue Brain Bot. If you're trying to make the bot go forward or backward in a straight line, but turns on a dime or it goes the opposite direction, you need to change the polarity of the motors. To do this, simply switch the pin connections of one of the motors if it turns, or both motors if it goes the opposite direction. <laughs>